Saturday around the Shore Conference was all about striking out autism. Central Regional built a popular event six years ago, and this year Ray Ray Rodriguez, a young child with autism, took the mound and threw the first pitch to kick off the biggest Shore showdown of the season. Number one wall and number two CBA, and these two powerhouses put on a show. Top of the first wall goes to work. Grant Shulman at the dish dings that right back up the middle. Teddy Sharkey comes wheeling in from second for the first score of the game. Wall jumping out quickly to a 1-0 lead. Bottom of the first, CBA gets on the board. Tommy DiTullio grounds out to second, but he's still going to drive in Joseph Duffy from third. A modest 1-1 tie here at the end of the first inning. Both teams nodded into the fourth, but here comes an explosive inning. Thomas DiTullio jams this pitch to right field, takes the turnaround second, but Tyler Winkowski has other plans. He lasers that one in and guns down to Tulio. A great throw in from right field. Later in the inning, John Dudek up with a man on first. He puts that into the outfield, but it skips by and goes to the wall. Andrea Delatri comes in all the way from first, and he's safe. CBA back on top with a 2-1 lead. And how about some fireworks? On a 1-2 count, Braden Hunt is going yard. The big sophomore drives this deep to left field for a two-run shot. Hunt cranks this lead up to 4-1, and CBA looking good so far at the end of four innings. Top of the fifth, Wall finding a groove. David Howarth hopping that single through short. John Volpe's in to score, closing the CBA lead to 4-2. But that's going to set up an explosion just one batter later. Grant Shulman helping out his own cause. With two runners on base, the starter takes this one deep. Shulman hammers this shot over 350 feet to dead center. What a time for a homer for the Crimson Knights. That's going to make it 5-4 wall looking good. They are hyped up going into the bottom of the fifth inning. CBA's Braden Hunt was seeing the ball so well on Saturday. Next half inning, he's going to drive this one deep, hops up the hill to the wall, and that's going to set up the Colts very well. Thomas Rogers up next, and he's going to drill one too. Rogers going to rope this to left field, and that's going to bring in Hunt coming in from second. Back-to-back -back doubles in the sixth inning pay off as CBA ties wall again. It's 5-5 at the end of six. Bottom seven now, CBA loads the bases with no outs, and they're looking for the dagger. Thomas Rogers up to bat, and he's going to play the hero. Drives it past third base. Anthony Celestri comes across the dish for the game winner. And there's the walk off in Bayville. Six to five is your final. CBA plays perfect small ball in the final frame to seal the deal as the top dog in the Shore Conference. The win also marks a milestone for head coach Marty Kenny. It's win number 800 in his career as he joins Toms River South's Ken Frank as the only 800 game winners in New Jersey history. After the game, I caught up with the Colts who talked about an unforgettable moment delivered in special fashion. It's something that, you know, I, I, I mean, obviously uh, it, it means an awful lot to me. I mean, there's no question about that. Uh, but to be honest with you today in preparation for the game, I totally lost track of it. You know, I know that sooner or later this, this year I'm going to get 800. Uh, I was more concerned and, and, and uh, Looking forward to playing a good program like Wall and 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 seeing just you know what level we're at at this point in the season. Uh, it feels amazing, honestly. He's uh, been such a good coach to us, uh, gets us through the tough times, and I'm really glad I could help him get there. It means a lot. Uh, you know, he's been coaching for a while now, and uh, uh, this win makes it good for 800 for him, definitely. Reporting for Jersey Sports Zone, I'm Jay Cook.